Welcome everyone. Join me today on the Empyrean Workshop Showcase as we take a look at the Whetstone Early Survival Base. Today's design, the Whetstone Early Survival, is an unlock level 5 size class 1 base coming to us from creator Excalibur. Now this is not only one Excalibur is mentioned to me, but also one that was showing up in the popular designs currently on the workshop. Now when you first look at the Whetstone Survival Base, you can see there are two distinct sections to it. The first one being the base itself, and the second being an outside solar panel installation that contains six solar panels in total, as well as some sentry guns on the outside for protection. On this side here, we have a landing platform for a hover vessel, as well as a spot marked for adding a repair bay module when it is available. One interesting feature on this base that is similar to some of the other designs from Excalibur is you have access to some cargo boxes here on the outside. The reason for this is once you step inside, you have the same cargo boxes here on the other side of the wall, making it very easy to simply grab cargo from your hover vessel and turn around immediately placing it into the cargo box only to turn around and do it again. This will save you some time and effort in transferring materials from your hover vessel or small vessel to a cargo box that has inside access, making it easier then to carry stuff to your constructors. So once you're inside, you will see there is already a spot for some grow plots as well as two active grow lots. We have six cargo boxes in the back corner there. We have a total of six fridges as well as two food processors, three on each side. We have an O2 station here. We have two large constructors, an armor locker, two more cargo boxes at the top that connect to the upper platform, as well as a red and blue cargo box, I'm assuming for oxygen and medical supplies. And then here we have a clone chamber. On this side of the base, we have our on foot approach where we can walk up and go inside. But we also have the same feature of a cargo box here, which once you put something in there is accessible on this side. So you can easily dump stuff from outside, say from a water generator. Here in the floor, we also have four more cargo boxes as well as two ammo boxes right here next to your production area. Back here behind the stairs, we have a spot left open for you to place a furnace if that is something you're interested in doing. And going up the stairs, we come out to the small vessel landing pad up top where you can see we have several cannon turrets for protection. We also have the other two cargo boxes that are pointed ceiling side there so you can come in, do the same thing, land your SV here and take cargo from it, dump it right in here and all you have to do is run back inside and have access to it right there, making it easier than having to carry it all in one single trip. The solar panel installation is connected into the base simply for power production. So there is no tunnel or connector leading out where you just walk into it. Once again, the Whetstone Early Survival is an unlock level five size class one base. It comes with nine fuel tanks, giving us a total of 10,800 fuel capacity. Combine that with the solar panel installation, and you can see there is quite a bit of longevity for the power usage on this. It also comes with five oxygen tanks, giving you a total of 5,002 in capacity, but it only needs 549 to fill it up. In total, there are two ventilators and one oxygen station, as well as the one clone chamber. Compared to some other starter base designs, this one is definitely more well defended. It comes with seven sentry guns and six cannon turrets total. There are also 17 cargo boxes and two ammo boxes, along with six fridges, two food processors, and the two large constructors. When it comes to resource requirements, the Whetstone is a very low cost design, though dependent on how readily you find silicon in your starting area, you might have some trouble getting enough to build this. I really like this base design. It is very straightforward and gives you a good balance of access to your production and cargo storage inside the main room. While I personally never see the need for actually using a furnace, some players may want that, so it's nice to have a spot for that. During my testing, the only real drawback I found with this base is that some of the sentry gun placements are not really that effective when you are being attacked by predatory animals. 
If you're interested in checking out the design, I will have a link in the description below. And if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave Excalibur a thumbs up on the workshop page. Also make sure to send any nice comments or creative suggestions to Excalibur on the workshop page as well. Well, that is it for this workshop showcase. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Also make sure you leave a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am your host, Mr. Spicy as always. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.